Hi guys! Guys, do you remember this background? <laughs> this is a classic the background. The guys, we look absolutely finished. So, today we're doing a sit down video where we answer some questions in relation to Ramadan and things that we've been doing. We asked you guys these questions on our Instagram around two weeks before Ramadan. We were prepped and ready for this situation. Oh, my skin trying to be as modest as possible as Islamic as possible. right anyway so hot topics this week right so it's been quite a serious week I'm not gonna lie it's been really sad so there's the fire in Hergesa I know tragic really like uh, they couldn't have picked a better time though one day before Ramadan I know, I was like, like the shaitan will shut, he so really he did his work. He was working hard. He did his work before he, before he got locked up for yeah, Oran. It's really sad. Did you see that video of the three rooms? in the fire that didn't get um no. that didn't burn well, yeah no. i'm gonna show cult on the video after there was three rooms in the whole fire in the inside the fire engulfed in the in the in the marketplace and those three rooms weren't touched and apparently that's where one room was like where people donate to orphans or something or they no. pay a cat yeah then one room was related to like islamic studies or like Sheikh, it was like Sheikh Dirir's office for something or marriage, something like that. I don't know the full works, I'll write it all down. But basically, those three rooms or two rooms were like they were used as a form of like sakah and like charity, and they were not touched by the fire and they were in the middle of the fire. Isn't that mad? That's a miracle. Subhanallah. 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 Like when my mum first showed me, I just thought it was like a mild little fire. And then no. we called our cousin. Yeah, yeah. And then he was on FaceTime. Was it WhatsApp FaceTime? Yeah, WhatsApp FaceTime. And he was standing on this mountain and you could literally see like the whole like further down you could just see it all engulfed in flames and like the smoke and stuff. It reminded me of Grandpa a little bit. It I'm just honest. looked like nah, I love It was very dream. scary, subhanallah. Um, and then there was this other video on Instagram where it was just like an aerial view. Or using one of those, what are they called? Drones. Yeah. Going round and it's, oh my god, it's so scary, Arthur. But you know what I think? Like, I think now it's happened and I think all we can do is rebuild, but build in a way where it's like a different sort of market. It needs to be like a, a mall setting. Yeah. It can't it be a place where you can't have roads to access ambulances or but it's fire like, engines. It, yeah. It's mad. It needs to be fire like friendly. compliant do you know what i mean yeah. they need to have like protocols you know when you go but to, you like, know every... shepherd's bush market is like that that's true actually don't you think it is a bit bad like, isn't it yeah that is very how do they bloody oh my god imagine the government start cracking down on bush market saying it's not fire friendly i think they were trying to do a development in there and oh. then they signed a petition gentrification did not catch shepherd's bush market do you know what i mean gentrification did not win what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put Basically, it's really hard to figure out like what links to donate to right now because it's still new. Yeah. But we're just going to put a bunch of them in the description underneath so you guys can like donate. There's so many different links going around, you don't know which ones. Like... I didn't know who to donate to, so I just donate. I just, I shouldn't be talking about what I donate to, but I want to donate but you don't to know. someone directly okay, in yeah. her case. I should like donate to a charity or to an individual. It's just difficult, I don't know. I know. But we're just gonna put them all in there and then you guys can just read the description and choose who <coughs> you feel you wanna to donate to. SubhanAllah, we are really playing, praying for the people of her gay yeah, our families. Yeah, Allah make their situation easy. May Allah, Allah make, allow them to rebuild and may have an even better market. I just trauma. feel like I'm so anti-trauma at the moment. Like I'm just used to, ev the whole world is in shackles. Nothing scares me anymore. Yeah, it's really true. Do you know well, what I mean? I'm just so I'm so desensitized, I'm so desensitized that I just don't know how to Qumaya, react to Qumaya, things. Qumaya. It's not Qumaya, but it's like you have to think. We have seen so much in the past three years and we've had to like subconsciously absorb that that things the reaction that we have to things it's just like blah you know when they say that you've got that like hyper what's it called where you like bottle everything in yeah <laughs> you know how that comes out there it's like you're randomly be talking about it with a smile on your face yeah <laughs> Crying. How crazy! I cry to myself. I, you know why? I think my best form of release. Now we're going off topic. Is a when I'm on cry. my period. Yeah. Just when I'm PMSing, I have the best cries ever. Yeah. I literally cry about the dumbest stuff when I feel insecure. Yeah. I cry about stuff that doesn't even make sense. And then at the end of the month, at the end of my period, when I feel better, I just think, Oh my God, you're so dumb. Like, why are you crying? Why are you crying over something about? so trivial? It was like it was minor. But it's like it's an emotional release. Yeah, it is. It's like it a is. cathartic moment. Cathartic. I love that word. 
I've got to Google it. Do you remember that one poem? Yeah, by Caroline Duffy. Do you remember her name? name? I do! <laughs> no, do you know what one I remember? What's his name? John Agar. <coughs> yes! And it was like a half cast. Yes! I do. Half cast. And it was like, what you say? Something, something. And then they made us like read. say it, read it out loud in a Jamaican accent. It was so embarrassing. That was so mad. And now I come to. That is mad. That I that's mad, no? That's actually mad. They just read it. They were like, you've got to do it in the accent. Excuse me, standing on one leg, I'm half cast. <laughs> it got who it is? Explain yourself what you mean when you say half cast. How did they make us read that in Drake and This is actually cast? mind blowing, man. That's very true. Um, Isn't it mad how people used to use the word half cast? I know. I don't oh even God. remember when half cast became um, a, thing. a bad word. What do you mean? Picasso mixed red and green. Don't do it. We're going to get cancelled. I know we are. Okay. What's actual name? Was it John Agard? Yeah. Was it John? John Wait. Agard. Havisham. Anna <laughs> Havisham! Oh my God, who was Havisham? I know she was a woman that was like Not jilted. Yeah. Jilted she got at the old, old time. time. She had lots of cats, I believe. Oh, Havisham. I don't know what's the association with having cats. Do you remember Salome? No. Salome was... I'm actually going to Google this now. English Salome. anthology. I'm, I'm done. Okay, Colton, calm down. On my first son, Allah. On my first son. I didn't do that poem. I don't remember which ones I did. This is the book that I did. Oh, that's no, 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 she did it. Are... Wait, 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 guys. Oh my God, if this, this is the throwback. Do you guys remember that? <laughs> That is a throwback, guys. That was so funny. Yeah. What else happened? It's Ramadan. It's Ramadan. Rabba. It's Ramadan. It's Ramadan. Is it Ramadan? Look at, um, you know, I was in the car the other day. I was picking my mum up. This one's going. I said, Mum, it's Ramadan. No, you never. Yes, I said it's no, Ramadan. No, you never. I don't want to share a car. What did you I say? Said, Ramadan. You said, Mum, it's Ramadan. I said, what, Ramadan? She said, Rabba. No, I said, what, Ramadan? And she, she said, was like, Rabba. Is that how you say it? <laughs> Are you me here? So it's Ramadan. I don't know. I can't. It doesn't well, sound Ramadan. right, does it? It doesn't sound Let's right. Let's say it in your, in your mother tongue. Well, Ramadan. Ramadan. <laughs> Ramadan. It's, it's a Ramadan. Anyway, right, guys, it's Ramadan. Me and Hod, I fasted two days out of the free so far. I had to oh, allow myself really? because I'm so unwell. Yeah, I need to take a couple of I fasted two days so far. My third day, my period came. It came generously in the morning. Oh, you nice. Know. You know, last year mine came literally an hour before my It was a lethal. And you know you don't even get that day back. So no, you, you, do, really do, it you again. do. But it's okay. It's alright. It's okay. It's, right. it's done. I was ill on both days, and then I just thought, you know what? If I'm fasting, maybe it's gonna allow all the toxins to go. Do you know what I mean? When you just think yeah. fasting is just gonna remove all the toxins from your body, I thought I'm gonna get double the reward. You know, like one of the fasting person, and then expiation of sins. I was you like, yes, double, I double. was breaking my fast with water and neurofin, like it was crazy. And then today I woke up finished, and I said, you know what? I need the Kavonia. Don't you feel better with that ginger and honey? Yeah. Hair? I yeah. told you. It's Harder came over today and made me. Well, chincha, chincha, well, garlic, garlic, and some honey, preferably vanilla honey, a little bit of lemon juice, and hot water, and you got yeah, to take it, it like, was a, like shot. a shot. Well, I hope you guys are all having an amazing Ramadan, and let's begin. Yeah. and suhur, suhur meals. So what I usually have is Weetabix with blueberries, strawberries and raspberries and then I just drizzle some maple syrup on top. Last night I had some leftover sambus, one cup of smoothie. So my smoothie was cucumber, watermelon, ginger and lemon. Oh, so good and an apple. Oh, you yeah, had a smoothie. Yeah, I had a smoothie. I never have time because I always wake up like ten minutes before. But I, rushing. I always make my smoothies in the iftar. Yeah, you. It for or you know what you can do as well. If you're having oats, you can do like overnight oats and just like yeah. put it in the fridge, and then when you wake up, just whack it in the microwave. I haven't had oats yet. No, neither have I. I no. thought it was going to be long. I just keep it simple, guys. Do you know what I mean? But we've got a video coming up. Conflicts on Weetabix. Conflicts on Weetabix. <laughs> but we've got a video coming... Who said that again? Someone I never yeah. heard. We've got a video coming up of us doing our meals. So we'll post that for you guys. 
Second question is how to manage praying, reading Quran, intentions consistently working with life. I'm not gonna lie, I can't manage it. To answer your question, I feel like what you ask is like the big, big, big million dollar question. But I feel like that's... balancing life. Yeah. But then in the past, I feel like what I've done is, it's been hard. Like, it's been really difficult to, like, I can just about manage, I would say, praying consistently with work life. Yeah. But the other things sometimes get lost because you're so knackered. I, I don't get to do a lot of the stuff that I want to do in terms of like increasing my rather during the work yeah, week. Yeah, but, but on I the try weekend. and stick with trying to play my five and then I try and do sunnah for Maghrib, if I'm yeah. honest. That's the only sunnah that I can do right now. Yeah. Um, and then You've if got I can to go give to, yourself yeah, that. be specific about like things that you want to do consistently. And if that's something that's hard for you, I think maybe make it like one of the du'as that you continuously yeah. ask in Ramadan. There was this one du'a. I'm going to put it up here because I've got a screenshot of it. But it basically, it's a du'a that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said to his... Exactly. He was teaching his daughter Fadima and um, radiallahu anha. Um, but it's all about supporting you through difficulty and, and things like that. So you can read it and inshallah try and use that um, and that might help you out. Um, someone said, can you guys do a Ramadan morning and evening routine? Knowing us, it's going to be chaotic, but we will try our best. Um, someone said, how to meet your Aleph at eat pray at eat prayer. <laughs> How do you mean Aleph at Eid prayer? <laughs> um, Aleph means like your soulmate. Yeah. Um, it's going to be a hard one. I don't know if you want to be uh, spotted at Eid prayer <laughs> like that. You might get a cheeky DM afterwards. Do you know you what know, I people, mean? People don't approach people because it's very untoward. It's a bit <laughs> That you may, I don't know, that's actually a really good question. <laughs> um, I would say make dua this Ramadan, if that is what you're looking for. Yeah. And you never know, he might come to you on Eid. He might the come. The love of your life. Exactly. Well, guys, I really love a good love story. Someone said, first Ramadan as a tired new mum. Hashtag overwhelmed. Um, as a new mum, I'm not going to lie, I was very traumatised. <laughs> That was a very traumatizing period of my life when everyone. I felt really bad that I wasn't fasting, um, but then yeah, obviously I, I couldn't fast. Not but I still have feeding. to bring it back. I still have to pay. Yeah, it back. you have to. I've got two years worth of fast to pay back, by the way. Um, but if you can't manage it, then I swear you can like you can pay, pay I charity, think, pay charity for like um, each day or something. Yeah, but I mean, take turns. Maybe let your husband make the food. I know he's fasting, or get someone to help you out, um, and just. Just take take your time, honestly. It can be really hard. Uh, but yeah. I think with support Split you can really day. get through it. Um, and also meal meal prep or like create bulk meals and put it in the freezer. That might help you guys out. How to stay halal when you're seeing someone. Ooh. Well, and it's haram. It's a haram relationship. Yeah, because <sighs> when they're seeing someone, so I'm assuming it's a BF. So I would suggest completely limiting contact. Or just not seeing each other at all during Ramadan. You already know that this is a cheeky one. And yeah. You already know you shouldn't be doing it. So in this month, you really want to take... Not that we're scholars here. We're not. We're just advising in what we would do. Just a quick question. Just disclaimer there. Um, but you want to really optimise on this Ramadan and do as much good deeds as you want and you can. Um, and this situation might take away. And it might cause you to fall into fitna, like talking to him or catching feelings and all that jazz and you just don't want that you don't want to be distracted just concentrate yeah. on yourself and finally um and Ramadan stereotypes ig not even water oh my god that happened to me yesterday at work it was actually quite funny really <laughs> someone yeah. said not even water yeah i was like oh, what's the hell you weirdo i like, know it's like 2022 and you don't know how to you don't know how muslims fast you know what really annoys me is like how many years have you been how many years have you been working with muslim people that you don't know that they don't even they're not they're not drinking water as well as you know the conversation you know I mean? went like this it was like oh do you want this i was like oh no i'm fasting and she was like oh that's really nice when did you start i was like the weekend she goes so let me ask you a question so like you don't eat anything at all like not even a bar of cheese i was like no and then i was like these are the times that we eat and then she goes 
and then she was like, oh, well, what? obviously you can drink, right? No, no. we can't drink. <laughs> No, we can't no drink. Water. So no you're water. drinking no water, no juice. No, but they beer. know. They know. This is what pisses me off. It's like you know the answer. Don't lie to me and say you've never worked with a Muslim person during Ramadan in your life. You, like you're you know. saying to me, you haven't done RE GCSE. Do you know you know how I've had RE classes. Like we know you give up chocolate for Lent. You know what? I'm not gonna lie. There are people that are genuinely yeah. ignorant. I don't mind explaining it. I don't have a problem with it. I have a problem explaining it. Shall I tell you why? I just Because said. I make a point that if I don't know something, I'll go and Google. No, but I think it came in the general conversation. She was just like, oh, not even water. No. But she knows. We're gonna But I don't know why she can. She was like, what, juice? Milk? It's like... No, it's but the thing is, yeah, you know what? If, let's say, for example, if that person has, like... Christian, a, Christ, a Christian, fun, fun, if she's got Christian fundamentals, yeah, yeah, for example, and she knows that during Lent, yeah, they have to give up one thing. She yeah? understands that. She understands what fasting is, basically. Well, to, an, to, a, to a lesser extent. So, I mean, you know, just general, this is general RE. It like, is. this is GCC syllabus, hun. You should know that Muslims give up water and food. <laughs> <laughs> but they know, you know what, I can't in big 2022 fathom like a work colleague coming up to me and saying not even water, like not even juice. It's like you, you did that. We did the same GCSEs, huh? We did the math. The math is not my thing here. Okay, yeah. just stop. Okay, just stop. But yeah, um, we all did it on, we we on in the workplace, or like when someone comes, oh. Can't eat near you, can I? Oh, I'm yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry. yeah. Just eat your food. It's yeah, not that. Like, it doesn't. It literally doesn't. I'm it not gonna eat you alive. To I'm not gonna jump over this table to and eat your grab food. Grab your I'm fish. Not <laughs> food. Eat your food. All savages. Oh my god, my hijab's coming off. Well, like, savages. What else, do, so what else do they say? They'll be like. Oh. That's like I think that's nice though, because they're being considerate. But it just makes me laugh. Like I'm not gonna. Oh, I can't eat this in your face. Oh my God, I remember I had this I'm one down. workplace, yeah. And they and within the workplace, so my manager always knew like the girls on the pod to basically just constantly eat. Like we used to just eat everything, yeah. yeah. And then he comes over to me and he was like, you, you're gonna fast for 30 days in Ramadan. And I was like, yeah, he goes, no chance. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I just started laughing. He was like, no chance. There's no way. Because I just used to eat everything. Or I'd go to the car park and I'd buy like biscuits and stuff for everyone. He was like, there's no way. And you proved you... him wrong. I proved him wrong. Really but the thing is, so it was funny. like my first year, obviously it's my first year working, so it was the first Ramadan that I'd worked there. So he yeah, wasn't yeah, aware yeah. that like we have, that we're quite disciplined yeah. in Ramadan. So when he... Because no, he was like, like, there's there's no to do with it. <laughs> Proved him wrong, I did. That's so good. So that is the end of our questions. Thank you so much for taking part. Kulton and I are really trying hard to be consistent during Ramadan. But it's gonna be really difficult. It's gonna be hard, but inshallah, may Allah make us healthy easy. and thriving and make it easy, easy for, for us. us. Yeah, I mean. I mean. Um, uh, so yeah, we will catch you again on Sunday uh, with a brand new video. I think you guys might like this. It's a little bit different. It's a little bit of a uh, mahalada. What's that? What's that? We are basically going to be moving around. We're going to be doing a little, little moving. Yeah. What do you even call it? It's going to be an exercise. No, it's not that bad. Not an, an actual exercise. It's going to be an activity. Like an exercise. Yeah. An activity. Yeah. Exercise activity. That's good. That's good. It's going to be a good activity. Oh, can you see us? It's going to be a good activity. So we really hope you've enjoyed um, and continue subscribing to our channel. We really love you guys. Oh, someone's at the door. Love you guys. Bye.